enjoying the pomp and circumstance of Palm Sunday with Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, and then with Passover, no liturgical pun intended, Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday to celebrate Easter. There may be some reason or some reasons for this, but as a practicing Christian, I can't come up with any other than perhaps this. Moving from Palm Sunday to Easter morning without the benefit of hearing about the mandate to serve, without remembering the commissioning of the Eucharist, and most importantly, without being convicted by the passion of Jesus, speaks volumes about our reluctance or even our inability to confront death. I don't want to hear all the gritty, gory, unpleasant details. Just take me from all glory, law, and honor to a welcome, happy morning. <laughs> the framers of the new prayer book published in 1979, combined portions of Palm Sunday with Good Friday, so that at the very least, people would hear an account of the Passion and hear that indeed, Jesus did die. Today, Good Friday is the day to confront death. And in this Good Friday liturgy, we do just that.